So I saw a video clip of Don Lemon and Jim Acosta congratulating each other on how unbiased CNN is in their coverage, oozing about the fact that they only think about their loved ones and their families and the poor people of the world when they go and do their reporting as if they're all such pure as the driven snow journalists. And of course we know by their behavior that this is false. But the only evidence really that Don Lemon offered was an interview of Nancy Pelosi by Manu Raju in which he said that you could see by her demeanor how tough the questions were because she was trying to avoid them and he just kept persisting and persisting. Of course, the demeanor of the person being questioned does not indicate the toughness of the questions. It only indicates the person's reaction. But setting that aside, let's talk about how tough those questions were. The first question was about Normandy when Trump said such terrible things about Pelosi when they were overseas. That's just an opportunity for her to take the high ground and claim that she never says anything bad about any president while they're overseas. And obviously, by implication, that tells you just how terrible Trump really is. So that's not a tough question. And the next follow-up from him was, well, how will you work with him? Again, an opportunity to talk about how hard it is to work with him, but how they're just going to sacrifice everything they have to in order to try to make progress on all of their issues, that's not a tough question. Then he went on to the comments that she was reported to have made about Trump deserving to be in jail instead of impeached. Uh, and again, an opportunity to, well, all she did in that case was dodge. She never answered it, and she said ultimately that she wasn't going to talk about the caucus, but she went back over all the reasons why she's so much better than Trump. And so then he asked, you know, do you think he's guilty of crimes? Tough question? Oh, tough. How tough is that to be asked whether you think the president of the opposite party is guilty of crimes? That's not a tough question. Then he went on to say, about their legislation and their investigations, wouldn't impeachment, this is the premise from the Democrats, wouldn't impeachment help with the investigations? Again, tough question. I mean, it's a little embarrassing for her to have to talk about it, but it's not tough to say impeach or don't impeach. That, again, is really pointing the finger at the opposite side. It's an opportunity to say more about impeachment and to argue about how he's guilty. And in the midst of all of that, she lied and said that the president had said that the whole investigation of Russian interference in the election was a hoax, something that Trump has never said. He has only said that the hoax was the part about his involvement with the Russians. And that was a hoax, as we now know. And that's all that she ever, that, that's all that he ever said. And did Manu Raju follow up on that and call her out for the lie? He did not. He missed a golden opportunity for an actual, potentially tough question. And she mentioned at one point the, the common initiative of the two parties for a cleaner government. That would have been another opportunity for him to point out that there's investigations in place to try to find out whether the government was corrupted in the way that it investigated a, an opposition political campaign. But he didn't follow up on that. So again, another opportunity for a tough question that was lost. And then the next question was, how do you reconcile the position of Jerry Nadler that impeachment was looking ever more likely and her position that apparently maybe it's not so likely? So again, tough question, impeach or not? Impeach or not? That's not tough. It's just another opportunity to talk about how terrible the president is. And then he went on to say, if you believe that he committed crimes, aren't you obligated to impeach? A tough question? No, another non-tough question. Another question implying maybe you should impeach the president. 
That is not a tough question against the Democrat. That's a tough question against the president. And then he asked again, do you have evidence of crimes? And she went on and listed crimes that, you know, the 10 or 11 incidents that some Democrats seem to want to continue to claim were crimes. There was another perfect opportunity for a tough follow-up. Like, can you actually provide evidence that any of those things are actual chargeable crimes? Can you meet the elements? Can you survive cross-examination? And can you establish beyond a reasonable doubt that a crime was committed in any of those cases? No question of this kind was asked. Another opportunity lost for an actual tough question. And then the final question that he asked was, the president claims to have helped the country with his tariff threat when he withdrew the tariffs after the Mexican government agreed to some compromises. Do you give him credit? Is that a tough question? Give me a break. Giving her another opportunity to say, oh no, of course not, the president is just a liar and doesn't deserve credit for anything, is not a tough question for a Democrat. So, so far my tally is seven or eight, nine non-tough questions and two, three opportunities for tough questions totally lost. If that's the best evidence that you have, Don Lemon, for the lack of bias of CNN, all I can tell you is it's evidence of bias. It's evidence of how a liberal tries to look tough when questioning a liberal, and that's not unbiased.